Here you see the island of Iwo Jima, which isn't far from Japan. It's surprisingly a very tiny island, and it's only four and a half miles long and two and a half miles wide. It was critical for the Allies because it was home to two airstrips, and it was close enough for the U.S. to attack mainland Japan. America could use the island as an emergency landing base and a base for U.S. fighter pilots, so they were excited for the opportunity to take control of Iwo Jima. But, similar to other major Pacific battles, Iwo Jima was bloody, gruesome, and had a terribly high death count. What the U.S. soldiers and allies did not realize is that the Japanese were very well prepared for the invasion of Iwo Jima. The allies planned an amphibious attack, meaning it was both on land and on, through the water, but the Japanese were ready for them. The Japanese general, Kuribayashi, actually waited for the marines to fill the beach as they were coming onto the island and then ordered his men to fire, which resulted in over 2,400 casualties on just the first day. Allied attempts to pre-bomb the area pr proved futile as the Japanese had dug over 11 miles of hidden tunnels with over 22,000 Japanese somewhere in hiding. And so this image here shows you those underground tunnels. Total, there were about 6,891 Marines killed with over 18,000 wounded. Of the 22,000 Japanese on the island, only about 200 remained by the end of the battle. Keep in mind that many Japanese practice a concept known as Bushido, which is a remnant from the old samurai code. Bushido is basically a term to describe something similar to a knight's, a knight's code of chivalry. According to Bushido, a person should always die with his honor intact. So as part of this concept, you should never be taken prisoner, and it's better to commit suicide than to be taken by the enemy. Even though lots of American lives were lost, the death count at Iwo Jima was made dramatically worse because the Japanese simply refused to retreat and either fought to the death or committed suicide instead of becoming prisoners of war. Because of this, Americans were more open to the idea of using the atomic bombs later on in the war because they knew the Japanese would fight to the death at all costs.